when we get to the pepper warehouse. What is our plan? I pulled this string, and bingo, the hand is trapped. You see, when I was a child, I was a huge fan of Clifford the Big Red Dog. The hand somehow evaded your trap. What do we do now, old friend? Well, my ancient ally, we start shooting. I really wanted to climb all the way up to the top of his big head because I just wanted to hug his giant ear so badly. Petrus, our weapons have no effect on this mummified menace. You have some issues with my equilibrium, and so because of that, I have less stamina for walking than other women my age. Come on, you two. Let's get this hand to prison where it belongs. Thank you so much for giving us a hand. Suspicions. Chief, do you know what time it is? What are you doing calling us? This better be important. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, Chinka. Now stop your belly aching and listen up. We had a nasty attack down by the Fowler Creek Swamp. I'm gonna need you two idiots to go down to the victim's place and get a statement. This sounds like a job for regular boring cops, not the most fabulous crime-fighting duo of the modern age. Will you just shut up and get over there? 
By the way, this guy says he was attacked by a vicious swamp monster. Maybe this is straight up our alley after all. There is a lot of things in this world. Mysterious things, evil things, scary naughty things, but swamp monsters are up our alley things for sure, old friend. You got it, buddy. Let's roll. Hello, ma'am. I'm Chinka, and this is my partner, Beatrice. Can we come in and ask your father about the attacks? You can try, but he's been inconsolable since the police brought him home. With all due respect, ma'am, we're the detectives and you're the civilian. I think we know what we're doing. Excuse me, sir, but we've been led to believe that you were attacked by some sort of swamp monster. Can you confirm or deny these facts? Swamp monster! Swamp monster! <sighs> I'll take that as a positive confirmation. Ah, a swamp monster! Can you describe what this monster looked like? Swamp monster! Excellent. If you don't mind, I'll take one of those drawings for our files. <laughs> that swamp monster. It took everything from me. Everything! My ID! My license! Everything! Ah. My everything! Ah! A swamp monster! You poor bastard. This case is really starting to get under my skin, old friend. I know, Beatrice. Something just doesn't add up. Officer Vectorval, where's the victim? Right here. Sir. Excuse me, ma'am, but are we to believe you were attacked by the swamp monster? Moth orchid? I'm certain I don't know what you mean, but can you describe what happened? Spider plant. That sort of answer may fly with your hippie friends, but we're the Calgary Police Department. Yeah, lady, give us some answers, or we may be forced to shoot you. Fern? African violet? Hey, yeah, Officer Vectorfile, what the heck is wrong with this woman? I'm not sure, but all she said to me since the attack is something about aloe vera. This is useless. Was there anything at the crime scene that may be a clue? All I know is that her, her wallet was missing. Vagonia! Who are these idiots? Pam Duncan with the Channel 12 News. You mean the Action Jackson News at 11? Correct, detectives. What happened here tonight? No comment. I heard it wasn't the first attack. Hi, Pam. I'm a big fan. Beatrice, she's a vulture. Don't tell her anything. Hey, Pam. Will I be on TV? How do I look? Detective Beatrice, you look fabulous. Can you tell us a little bit about this case? Anything for the news, Pam. Anything? Nothing. Beatrice, keep it zip. We're out of here, Pam. But, but Jean Cop, No, let's get out of here. Cactus. Sounds like a cover-up to me, viewers. Tell me what you think with the hashtag Gene Caw Cover-Up. So, 
sorry about that back at the swamp with the Action Jackson news crew. It's okay, Beatrice. Even the most dedicated and serious of minds can be dazzled by the idea of stardom. I just want to be a movie star so badly. I feel like if I become friends with Pam Duncan, she... Focus, Beatrice. We need to capture this swamp monster before it causes any more damage. We may have to look at old case files and see if there's a pattern. Sorry, Chinka. I'll get my act together. Miss Murphy, we need all the case files on all the attacks near swamps over the last 50 years. Miss Murphy? Miss Murphy? Where is that lady? Don't you remember my lifelong friend and partner? She quit. Oh yeah, what a heartless, insensitive woman. What are we gonna do now? I'm certainly not looking through 50 years of files. First thing tomorrow morning, we will go down to the newspaper office and place an ad looking for a new secretary. Perhaps I could call Pam Duncan and she could... Beatrice. No. Our next step is the only logical next step in the history of next steps. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I am, old friend. I need to telepathically connect my mind to the disembodied hand of the ancient mummy we saved the world from recently. Then I will use the powers of the spirit world to locate the swamp monster. Exactly what I was thinking. Now close your eyes as I go into a hypnotic trance and send my mind into an alternate dimension of the souls of the dead. Sure thing, my oldest and wisest companion. Chinka! Beatrice! Where are you? There's been six more attacks while you sit there eating your donuts and playing with that part cheesy set I bought you for Christmas. You mustache-wielding hammer sucker. We're in the middle of a delicate operation. We will find you, your swamp monster, but you gotta let us do it our way. That means not by the books, Chief. That means vigilante justice, Chief. That means no more milk for the babies at the station, if you know what I mean. That's neither here nor there. Six more attacks? We better get back to this hypnotic session. This is the voice of the hand of the mummy. I know why you have contacted me, and I know the answers to your questions. Tell us, mighty hand of the mummy. Tell us where we can find the swamp monster who is terrorizing Calgary. You will find the answer you seek in the skull of a werewolf. Long live the hand of the mummy. Skull of a werewolf? Where are we going to find that? Oh, Chinka, my dearest and most beautiful platonic life partner, as a young boy before the Great Depression, I accidentally shot and killed a werewolf hunting for family dinners. Excellent, old chum. Do you know where we can find this victim of circumstance? I know exactly where I buried it. Hot diggity dog. Let's roll. Are you sure you know where you buried that werewolf carcass that you killed 90 years ago? My mind is as sharp as an ancient weapon of unknown origin, old friend. You have to trust me. I apologize for ever doubting you, old friend. But there is a further question. What's that, Chinka? Now that we have the skull of the werewolf, how does it help us find the swamp monster? Good question, old friend. What did the hand of the mummy say? The answer would be inside it? I believe the actual quote was, you will find the answer you seek in the skull of a werewolf. Wait a minute, Chinka. Look at this. The cracks on the skull show an exact replica of a map of the area by the swamp. Correct, old chum. And looky here. X marks the spot. Chinka, Hello? Chinka, it's me, the chief of police. You guys better stop screwing around. Get your heads out of your own butts. Get back down to the swamp. There's been another attack slash robbery. I tell you, Beatrice, that old frog-looking barnacle scraper of a chief better watch his mouth. Better not to get on the wrong side of his mustache. Let's go to the swamp. Hey, 
Chuck, make sure you get a good shot of this crime scene after the interview. Sure thing, Miss Duncan. Botanical tree. So, Officer File. Yes, ma'am. Officer Vector File. That's an unusual name. Yes, ma'am. My mother was a member of a cult. Hydrangea. So, Officer, tell us everything you know about this mysterious monster attacks. Hey, I'm Duncan! You have no authorization to be at this crime scene. I suggest you leave immediately. What's she still hanging around for? English Ivy. Freedom of the press, Jean Craw. Don't tell me where I can and can't go. And Miss Muffin Top? Who knows? She won't leave. Grass. Uh, Miss Duncan? Well, you see, maybe I can give you my headshot and you can take it to the director of programming at Channel 12, please? Oregano! Beatrice! Stand down, officer. You are clearly under the spell of Hollywood stardom. It's a strong magic. And you, Pam Duncan, get the heck out of here! Wheat flower. Gene Cop! It's me, the chief of police! Yeah, chief. I know who you are. You're the only one who ever calls me. That's neither here nor there, Chief Cop. Now you better tell me what the heck is going on with this case before I fire your ass! for failure to get the job done. Calm down, Chief. We know where the Swamp Monster's hideout is. We are gonna go stake out and ambush it later tonight. Basil! Beatrice! We gotta go! Daffodil! Chinka, have you ever wondered why banana peels are so slippery? I mean, they're like the universe's secret lubricant. Ah, Beatrice, my dear. Banana peels are portals to alternate dimensions. Slip on one, and you might find yourself in a parallel universe where pineapples rule the stock market. Speaking of pineapples, did you know they communicate through cosmic whispers? Last night, I overheard one saying, invest in boxcar futures. It's the next big thing. Boxcar futures, you say? I don't buy it. But Beatrice, have you ever wondered if our dreams are just forgotten shopping lists from other dimensions? Like, buy quantum chili peppers in a black hole vacuum cleaner. Ching Kong, my dearest and oldest lifelong friend, you're a genius! Do you remember the mystifying case of the existential crisis of sentient rubber boots? I do, Beatrice. Though it was a week I would rather forget, to be honest. Those boots' diabolical plot to replace politicians with talking houseplants. Imagine if we didn't stop them. Their debates would be like, I propose mandatory photosynthesis breaks for office workers, and instead of wars, we'd have intergalactic dance-offs. Millions would die. Beatrice, we are true heroes. Never forget that. Agreed. What should we do when the swamp monster shows up? I'm gonna immediately shoot it. I suggest we just watch and see what happens first. Okay, we'll go that way this time. But if things turn sour, I'm gonna fill this swamp monster full of lead. Here he comes now! If you ever want to see your kid again, bring $400 to the old oak tree Saturday night. Beatrice, do you know what this means? Yes! No, not really. It's a ransom note. That small monster's being extorted by some criminal. Yes, I knew that. For real. Let's follow him to the old oak tree. It's Saturday night, so the deal must be going down.
Beatrice, we gotta wait till the exchange is made. Then we can nab Zarba the Force Witch. With this evidence, we can lock her up for a long time. Finally. Nothing worse than a racketeering forest witch. That must be the Swamp Monster's son. Now's our time to get this witch. I'm Pam Duncan. News at 11. Pam Duncan! What the hell are you doing? We were about to nab that menacing witch. And because of your stupid, bumbling, idiotic news team, not only did the perp get away, but so did the Swamp Monster! Freedom of the press, Chinka. Sorry about your little sting operation, but the public has a right to know what's happening. Did you give my resume and headshot to your boss? Freedom of the foot, Pam Duncan. Freedom of the foot. Freedom of the foot? What does that mean? Ah! You psycho! You just shot me in the foot! Let's get out of here, Beatrice. Make sure to put in a good word for me, Miss Duncan. <laughs>